Welcome to our introduction to drawings in SolidWorks. Let's start by creating a new drawing document. Let's select Make Drawing from Part Assembly. SolidWorks prompts us with a dialog window where we select the sheet format and size. I'm going to select Landscape B and then click OK. The View Palette is open. Here's the View Palette icon. We click on it to close it. Oops, I don't quite have it. Okay, there we go. And we click on it again to open it. From this drop down menu on the top, we can select from a list of currently open documents. Down below, we see eight different views of our part that we've got selected up top. I'm going to grab the top view. Let me just use the top view here as my front view. It doesn't matter how the part is oriented in the SolidWorks part document. I'm going to position my front view in my desired location and then release the mouse. If I keep moving my mouse, I get a top view here, an isometric view, and the side view. Drag it down to see the bottom view. Let's actually use a different view, not the front view. Let's click Escape. Select this view, click delete. Do we want to delete it? Yes. Let's open the palette again. This time I'm going to bring in the front view and use that as my front view. Let's release the mouse. Here's my top view. Drag it up this way for the isometric view and drag it out sideways for the side view. Let's click the escape key. Now I can grab and reposition each view. Next, let's change the appearance of my isometric view. I want it to be shaded with edges. And OK. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. Another handy feature we have is the 3D drawing view. I can rotate the part in 3D space to help me better understand it. And when I'm done, click OK. Same thing for each of the views. Rotate it, click OK. On top here is an annotation tab. If you don't see this tab, right click and select annotation to make sure that it's checked. Now let's insert some dimensions. We'll start with the angular dimension. When I mouse over, you see that I can position the dimension in different places. I want it to be 60 degrees. Left click. Now I'll grab the dimension and move it out here. Next, I'm going to insert a dimension between these two edges. Let's click on this edge. And when I move, the dimension changes. Let's left click to accept a dimension. And then we can drag it to move it out of the way. Now I'm going to select this line. Again, position my dimension where I want it. And let's use the radius dimension. By the way, to turn the leader in the opposite direction, left click. And then you can just reposition it as you need. Another diameter dimension. You can see that SolidWorks automatically aligns the dimensions. Now let's dimension this fillet. Since we've got this fillet in six different places, let's insert a note here. We'll say typical, TYP for short. Let's zoom out and insert some overall dimensions. Notice that when I click on the arrows, they jump from the inside to the outside and vice versa. OK. Let's dimension these two circles. And 
And let's specify the angle between these two lines. I want to insert a node on this chamfer. Right click and select annotation. Oops, we're still in the dimension property manager. Let's OK that. OK, right click and select annotations. Note. Let's drop our note here. Let's say cham 2 millimeters. We've got formatting options if we need them. I'm just going to OK out of that. And zoom back out. Let's go down to this view. And let's insert some dimensions here. And here. Lastly, let's dimension the thickness of the cylindrical segment. And the distance from the outside edge. Be sure you select the correct lines. We've got a chamfer here. And I believe this is our last one. Let's click OK. And this concludes our introduction to drawing in SOLIDWORKS 2009.